Hey loves, welcome back, or if you're new here, I'm Shireen, and I would love it if you could subscribe and hit that like button. So today, as you saw in the title, I am diving into Ugly Duckling. This has been a long-awaited video. I have had so many requests to do Ugly Duckling top products. It has taken me some time to gather everything that I absolutely love from them because Ugly Duckling has a ton of stuff. And quite frankly, I love pretty much everything, but I really narrowed this video down to the things I think you can get the most use out of. Now, this video is gonna be a little bit longer because they do have so many products that I really do think you will get use out of, but if you're interested, keep watching, comment below what brand you want me to do next, and I hope you all are having a wonderful day and staying safe. Bye. Okay, so this first color is number 24. It is a beautiful taupey kind of nude. It's a little lighter in person than it's showing up in my camera, but other than that, it is showing up pretty true. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I've gone through a full bottle of this, and this one's my second one. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. It's a perfect staple nude to have. It looks great on so many skin tones as well. Okay, so this is number seven. It is a light pastel pink, and it is on the warmer side of a pastel pink. So when it looks like this, it looks a little brighter, but when I put my hand, I feel like that's more true in color. I don't know why putting the hand behind a color makes it look more true, but this is pretty accurate. It's a beautiful warm tone pastel pink. I have gotten some love with this color. You see that? Super pretty. Like any pink lover would love this pink. Okay, moving on to a true Barbie pink. It looks a little more neon in the camera. In person, it is a true Barbie logo pink. I say the Barbie logo because I feel like it's such a universal logo that everyone knows what it looks like. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful pink. It's so bright and vibrant. Oh, this is just gonna be such a fun one to use in the summertime. I will show you what it looks like in the cap. Isn't it gorgeous? super pigmented too. This right here is one coat. One coat, that's it. Okay, this is number 123. This is not showing up true in my camera whatsoever. It looks way more pastel in person. So picture this a super light, light pastel, and it's on the cooler tone side than the warmer tone. This is such a beautiful pastel purple. Because it's so unique, it has that cooler tone rather than a warmer tone. I really do find this one such a unique purple to have. And I'll show you it in the jar. I would have inserted a photo to try and get the best quality. Um, to show this color off. But yeah, I don't know why it's showing up so vibrant in the camera because it really is just a pastel, super light pastel purple and it's more of a cooler tone purple. Okay, number 34. This is probably my favorite shade that Ugly Duckling has come out with, um, or at least that I own. This is showing up true in my camera. It is such a vibrant, almost Barney purple. <laughs> it is like a neon purpley pink shade. If it wants to focus, 
so beautiful. I love this color so much. Yeah, I absolutely just love it. Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, picture this as like a bright purpley pink kind of shade. Almost Barney color, but I think Barney's a little darker than this. But it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Oh. <laughs> okay, number 107. This is such a unique purple to my collection. It's showing up so much darker in camera. I will insert a photo. But this, oh, there you can kind of see the trueness of it. It is a bit lighter than what is showing up in camera. It's like a mauve eggplant. If that's even a thing, that's what I would explain it. As if like a mauve kind of color mixed with an eggplanty kind of purple, that dark purple. And it's very cool tone. This definitely has some gray to it, but it's more of a purple than it is a gray. And like I said, it's much lighter than this one, or than what it's showing up in the camera, but it is beautiful. It's so unique. I don't have any purple like this one. And this is 107. Oh, there we go. You can see it really true in this lid right here. Do you see that? So, oh, when it's blurry, you can kind of tell. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Why is it showing up? This is true in camera, but it's kind of blurry. But isn't that beautiful? One coat coverage. It's absolutely stunning. I like I need this color in my collection for fall with like a mustardy yellow. This would just be stunning. Okay, this is 121. It is a very pastel blue. And just like that pastel purple one I showed you guys, it does lean more to the cooler side. So this is not showing up true in my camera. It is much more pastel, like much more lighter than this. And in the camera, it almost looks more warmer tone, but in person, it's got a gray hue to it. So it's like a light pastel blue with a hint of gray. I really think this one is just stunning. It is a very unique blue. It's not your typical pastel blue. This is definitely a unique one. I don't know why I don't wanna focus. Let's try the lid here. Nope. Ah, oh, that's a shame, but I would have inserted a photo to try and get a true quality photo of it. Okay, number 40. This is probably my second favorite color from Ugly Duckling. It is a bright greenish blue. Um, oh, isn't this color just beautiful? This is like a dragonfly color. Like I think this is just absolutely stunning. One coat coverage. I absolutely love it. It's showing up pretty true in my camera. In person, it might actually be a little more vibrant than it's showing in camera, but this is this is just a perfect color. I absolutely love it. Is that gorgeous? So, so pretty. And this is like perfect for all year round. Like I could definitely use this for summer. I could use it for fall once again with like a, a mustardy burnt yellow or orange. Like I think this would look gorgeous. And even for like snowflake nails, I just think this one would be great for all year round. So once again, that's 040. All right, 118, I have had some love with this color. It's a little more muted in person than it's showing up. It looks a little more vibrant in the camera, 
this is like a true army green. It's so, so beautiful. This is my third favorite color from Ugly Duckling. Uh, now I am biased. Green is my favorite color, but I have had, a, or I've had a ton of clients use this shade, especially with like a rose gold glitter. And I've done a ton of sets using like leopard print with this green and it's just so pretty. It's absolutely beautiful. For all the girls that don't love green this is like a muted like warm tone army kind of green and I feel like it's so flattering on everyone you know all the girls that are like I don't like green this is the green that they're gonna love <laughs> yeah isn't that stunning I absolutely love this shade so much I've made a mess of my bottle as you can see <laughs> But if you don't own this, I highly, highly recommend getting this one. For all the girls that are skeptical of green, when they see this one, they will love it. Okay, the last shade is number 116. And yes, it is another green, but it is a little bit lighter than this one. So as you can see in the lids, this guy is a little bit darker than this one. This one is like a mossy, warm tone you know what I don't even think this leans more warm or cool I think it's a very neutral kind of green it is stunning this is like beautiful for Easter nails for floral this one for floral oh my god it would be perfect I honestly can even see myself using this for Christmas with snowflake nails I think it's going to be such a universal green to have. I absolutely love it. Do you see that? It's just stunning. Once again, this is all one coat coverage. Like Ugly Duckling knows how to do their gel polishes. I have no shadowing. They're, they glide on smoothly. I absolutely love it. So I really think... These two greens are all you need. If you don't have a lot of green lovers, just pick up these two and you won't you won't regret it. <laughs> Moving on to Stick It. So I get a lot of uh, uh, questions asking what I use to apply my big, chunky 3D stuff or even my little rings like this or billion beads. This is what I use. I absolutely love this stuff. It holds all my massive metal piece, uh, metal piece nail art pieces. Um, it holds all my, like these little metal pieces. It holds my billion beads. I never have an issue with this stuff. Absolutely love it. If you ever have issues with sticking bows or the big chunky metal things, this is a must have to have. And then going right into, this is my favorite glue. I, uh, I have one on the go, but I just thought I'd show you a nice one that's not all ruined. <laughs> but this is my favorite nail glue to stick little diamonds on. So all these standard little tiny diamonds, this is what I use for those. I absolutely love this glue. It doesn't burn, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> I know that's a weird thing, but I've tried glues that like burn my finger when I when you apply it. I love these too. If you have not tried them, must, must go pick these up. Okay, now they're shiny coat and matte coat. I'm almost out of the no wipe, <laughs> so I gotta grab another bottle. Um, these are amazing. I know they're on everyone's shelves already, but I just thought I would give an honorable mention. Um, this has been one of my favorite top coats for the longest time. This matte is amazing. I love, like, I love Ugly Duckling bottles. They just look so bougie sitting on your shelf. Um, I love using, like, when I'm doing little fine lines and stuff that I need only um, spots shiny and the rest are matte. I just add a little bit droplets of the shiny coat on the edge, dip my fine brush in it, and it's amazing. Then you wipe it off and you're good. I think this is just perfect. Yeah, I don't think I can say anything else more. You guys already know these are amazing because I'm positive they're in your collection. 
Yeah. Okay, moving on to cuticle oil. Oh, I cannot say enough good things about this cuticle oil, you guys. I have tried probably 30 different cuticle oils, and I have never found one this phenomenal. Um, I have gone through probably five jars. This lasts a long time. I use this bottle on every single one of my clients. Like I said, I've gone through about five bottles on my clients and this one is almost empty. Here's my backup. Um, I've had a ton of clients purchase their own bottles for at home because it lasts so long. It's absolutely beautiful. Mine's obviously all kind of dirty. Um, so it does have some gold flakes in there and it does have an an actual pearl in there. So it just looks so bougie when you have it sitting on your side table like that. I absolutely love it. I love the dropper on here. It's got, it's a good size. It's easy to fill up. I absolutely love it. It feels very luxurious. I will say that this bottle is so luxurious. It's not something if you drop it, it's just going to shatter everywhere because trust me, I've made that mistake before. It's just perfect. I can't say anything else good about it. It is just the most perfect cuticle oil. I've actually had a couple of clients tell me they use this on their face for moisturizing and they love it. So I don't know. I'm not a professional. I don't know if I would recommend that, but they love it. It's great for extremely dry patches on your skin and everything. I I think it's perfect. Okay, moving on to brushes. Ugly Duckling knows how to do their brushes brushes a hundred percent so this is probably my favorite tool from them this is the blinger tool so you've got the waxy tip and then you got a little pointy handle mine has had some love I've gotten it all scratched up you can buy replacement tips for these so that's what I always do I just always buy a replacement tip for it so as you can see it's all very worn out but I've had this for since it came out, I don't know, probably two years now. Whenever it first came out, I knew I needed it, so I bought it, and it's just, it's been my ride or die for applying bling. And then, this is my standard gel brush. This is what I apply all my clear, whoops, all my clear gels with. It is a perfect size head on there, super flat. It's absolutely amazing. I have used probably 10 of these brushes I've gone through over the years because after a while, you know, cleaning them all the time, they start to wear out. And I like when my brush is super thin. I just feel like I can really get up close to the cuticle. I absolutely love this brush. And I mean, can we just take a moment for how beautiful it is? <laughs> I think this is just a stunning, stunning brush. And then they do have, whoops, they do have their standard other brushes. We've got a 3D acrylic brush. This is super, super tiny. I use this to do all my 3D flowers. Do you see how thin that is? This is the most perfect brush to do all the 3D flowers or 3D bows with acrylic. The only time I use acrylic is to do the 3D stuff. So this is my ride or die brush. And then this is an example of their striping brush. So this is their really fancy version of it. This is my favorite brush. It's so thin and it has a good length to it. Do you see that? I absolutely love this brush for hand drawing but I wanted to show you the difference. So here is the exact same brush, but this is called their student version. So this is a lot cheaper than the fancy version. I know a lot of people, I always read in the nail tech groups asking if there, if anyone knows cheaper alternatives for like nail art brushes. And these ones are amazing. They are still like the brush hair is still as amazing quality as the higher end. It's just the handle. The handle isn't as fancy, but still amazing quality on this. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're like half 
price of this. And because I use these a lot, I wear them out very quickly. So I like to just purchase a bunch of these ones. So I don't care if I ruin them. As well is just like the gel brush, they do have their little smaller size one. I've worn, <laughs> I've worn this one out. Um, I was using it for glitter and stuff. So I just wanted to test it out and it does work perfectly for glitter. And yeah, these are all the other ones that they have. This is my second favorite striping brush. Do you see how little that hair is? It is so tiny. I've gone through a lot of these brushes because I tend to drop my brushes and these little guys, they tend not to hold up for that. But other than that, if you take care of these brushes, they will last a long time. And the last thing I want to show you guys is the crystal display. I want to do a comparison for you because this is kind of expensive, but it is truly worth the cost. So as you can see, this is your typical nail display. You grab one of the little things and like right there, you can feel that magnet. It is strong. Now, do you see this? I am holding this magnet or the whatever this thing is called and I'm holding it. I am shaking it. It is not going anywhere. This is so strong. But if you look at this one, I bought this off Amazon for like two bucks, but <laughs> do you see that? I can't even barely shake it. Like I, you know, it's, um, it's definitely shows you the quality difference. I, uh, I absolutely love nail displays like this because just once again, sitting on your desk with like a fancy nail, it just looks so bougie. I absolutely love it. And I love this kit specifically. Let's get rid of that one. It comes with this long five display and this is heavy, like not heavy that, you know, you can't lift it, but it feels, it feels like amazing quality. I love the engrave that they engraved their name in it. It's beautiful. And all, you can choose whether you want gold or silver. I love that, that they gave you the option. Yeah, I really do highly recommend this if you have, if you do a lot of individual nail art or you just want to display like five different designs. I think these are amazing. Okay, I lied. I know the nail tip display was supposed to be the last thing, but I want to mention my Ugly Duckling lamps. I have used these for about a year now and I'm obsessed with them. I am so happy I purchased these. I got them from Canada Nail Supplies. So you have your typical 10 second, 30, 60, 90, and then the 120. And you can just keep it on and it'll go to 150. So if you have it at the 150 mark, your client can stick her hand in, take it out, put it back in, take it out, it stays on. Um, and also if you have it set on one of these, the light will actually shut off. And then when she puts it back in, it'll remain where it left off. I love that feature. Plus they are so beautiful. They've kind of got this pearl effect. It's not showing up in the camera, but I wanted to mention these because I have had a handful of people ask me what I thought about these lamps and I truly love them. I have two, one over there and this guy, and I just love them. Another thing is they come with replacement bottoms. So anytime you want to get a replacement because the bottoms can honestly get scratched up and gucked up. So they are super cheap to replace the bottoms, which is really nice. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.